There we are. Woo! Get excited. Earlier this year, when I was traveling solo around Guatemala, I made a group of friends and decided to climb Volcano Actinango with them. Most travelers say this adventure is a highlight in their Central America trip, and this was definitely the case for me. With that said, let me introduce you to my crew. There's Taylor, a friend from home, Cameron, my Aussie mate, Nika, my German friend who I met with Cameron in Mexico, and finally, Yano, my Dutch friend. Oh yeah, and myself. Hi. I'm excited. Let's do this. Are you excited? <laughs> you also have to tell me if you take videos and pictures though. It's all gonna be videos. Video. What? The first hour is the worst? The first hour is the worst. And yeah. then also the like the last hour when they actually hike to the top. Okay, cool. Good to know. Come on down. Freaking tying. <laughs> and that was the easy part apparently. Uh. Next 45 minutes are a bit steep, a bit difficult, yes. No break. <laughs> and you just left us all behind. <laughs> okay. We just ate lunch. Yeah. And what did we get? Cold. We had a sandwich. It was delicious. It was good. Yeah. Where, where are you looking? You're looking there, right? Yeah. I'm looking oh, you there. want to look there? Oh, I have to look there. It's, yeah, it's better. And you, Taylor, what did you get for lunch? Sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Human bowl. <laughs> One more. One, One more. more. <laughs> so I'm always everyone like keeps talking huh. about having a beer later. <laughs> and little do they know we have a little so surprise good. for them. I still have to not <laughs> tell them, like <sighs> to keep the secret. We can't say anything. No, can't say anything. No, 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 we Don't won't. We won't. Breaks over. Ready for round two? See you in a bit. See ya. Bye bye. So we started at 2000 altitude. The altitude we started at was 2000. No, that sounds way better. <laughs> and the base camp is at 3,600. And then the peak is at 3,976. I'm so proud of myself for remembering that. I it was like 4,000 and a bit. That's almost 4,000. That's what people have been writing on their Instagram. Oh, liars. <laughs> we are just chilling and taking a break because I am dying. Not only do we have four liters in this bag, but also my gimbal, two cameras, all my sleeping gear. So this is like the most I've ever carried for this long. When I go backpacking, I don't even bring this much stuff in my backpack. You made it. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god, is this? What? Oh my god! First three point! Three. <laughs> Two vlog. Five? You know? <laughs> we have never made a doing. vlog together. No, we did not. <laughs> this is vlog number one for us. Vlog number one. Oh yeah. Let me show you where we are now. Okay, show We're us. We're walking that. at 3,444 meters altitude now. With camera on, with Nika. Woo! Over there, that's like the okay. Volcano Agua. Is that Agua? It's amazing. It's it amazing. is amazing. It just doesn't erupt. So, like, at the other side of this town, this little funny Akitabel uh, Penango this town, volcano. This volcano. There's like this Fuego thing and it's erupting, so. So is that what we're going to see today? Two. That's Vlog 2. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned for the next episode. <sighs> we're almost there. I think we have like 10 more minutes to base camp. <laughs> we just saw the first view. They say the... it would be flat, but it sure as hell is not. <laughs> no, but it's way flatter. This was uh, way easier. I don't need this shit. We are way too excited for this moment. You I should know. be dead right right now. I know. Do you know why they call it Agua? Look. I do not. Okay, so basically, when it erupted a few years back, it oh. sprayed out a bunch of water at first. So that's why they called it. Really? Yeah, there was like a, a bunch of water in it. So at first all this water came down and then after that all the lava came down. Wow. So that's why they called it that. Made it! Woo! <laughs> Welcome to base camp. <laughs> Hello. Say hi, it's video. <laughs> Yay! Woo. Welcome home. <laughs> this is supposed to be the hardest part. 
going up to the summit one hour and a half I think and I don't think I could vlog while doing this <laughs> we made it there we are oh my god No, it's a little chubby. Breaker, so that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watching the sunset with my crew at the top of Volcano Actinango definitely felt like we were on top of the world. It was not easier said than done. No, but coming down was nice and easy. Mm -hmm. That was really good. It was fun actually, right? Yeah, I mean, we it was a little so dusty. <laughs> oh, it was still like everywhere. <laughs> I oh, could definitely not get my camera out yeah. to like. I had a feeling that. it took like 10 minutes and up it was like one and a half hours. Yeah, so honestly, it, it took 10 minutes back. to come down. It was crazy. It was nice. And she could keep up with us. Yeah, for the first time. time. <laughs> <laughs> and Finally. I have something, a little surprise for our rest. friends. I really meant it. I really love you. Yeah. Emily does as well. So and we, thought, we knew this moment would happen. Yeah, this moment was going to happen. So we, we brought you something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah that's a... <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice little sweet bottle of rum. Yeah. That's the cutest thing <laughs> anyone ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, put a, a little chocolate? bit in here actually. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Yum. Sorry, I put a lot. Good lord! <laughs> well, man, oh. I said, Lynn said 50 50. This is insane. We spent the next hour watching Fago erupt while sipping rum. All right, well, I think that's it for tonight, and uh, we'll see you yeah. in the morning. See you in the morning. Woo -hoo. Okay, time for the morning. Time for the morning. <laughs> We're at base camp and we watched the sunrise over here this morning, but now it's actually really sunny. Don't forget your water. We're black. What was that? Uh, horrible acting. <laughs> we watched the sunrise over here. <laughs> and now it's there. <laughs> <laughs> so we made it. Woo! That was way better. Third time. <laughs> I'm so excited that this video is finally done and I'm ready to share it with everyone else. This was one amazing experience. Honestly, I cannot recommend it enough. I absolutely love the whole trek. I love my friends. I love watching a volcano erupt for the first time. Um, the views are just amazing. The sense of accomplishment getting up there because it was freaking hard. Amazing. But I wanted to end this video with giving you some advice on what I liked and what I wish I knew before. Basically there are two options and I just wanted to let you know both of them and which one I liked better and why. Just uh, some little bit of advice from me to you. When you're in Antigua, you're going to book your trip and usually you book it through a hostel or a tour guide. We ended up going with a tour guide, I can't remember the name, but I'll just link it right here. Option number one is the most popular option, which is basically you walk up to base camp, and from base camp, you'll watch the sunset from there. Then you'll wake up around, I don't know, you think it was like 3 a.m., and hike to the summit, which is a really hard climb. The last hour to the summit is a killer. And then you watch the sunrise from the summit. Option number two is you walk to the summit for sunset and then you sleep on the side of Fago where you can see Fago erupting at night and then you get to watch the sunrise just outside your camp. The reason why I liked option number two better was because believe it or not I had a million blisters, I barely slept and I just don't think I would have made it to the summit the following day because your body is just so sore because <laughs> you just get all the hiking done with in one day. It's a lot. It's it's really hard, but you could do it. In general, going down is way easier. It only took two hours compared to like the several hours it took the day before to get there. And yeah, you're pretty much just running the way down. It's really slippery, so you definitely need poles. There was so many times people wiped out. It's actually quite funny to watch. A few things to take note of is 
don't pack that much shit. Literally, you don't need anything. You just need baby wipes. Look how dirty my baby wipe is. 100% need baby wipes. It's so dirty. You don't need a hairbrush. As you can see from my clip, I literally had the messiest hair. No hairbrush could even save that. There's just so much dust in it. Um, you need a bandana of some sort because it is so dusty, it gets into your mouth and then it'll give you a sore throat and on top of your aching body and yeah, a lack of sleep, you don't want to have to deal with a sore throat as well. So for clothes, I packed a warm outfit and a cold outfit. Walking up is really hot. I had shorts and a t-shirt, I believe. At one point, I think I just had a tank top. I think my friend Taylor was naked the pretty much the whole time, yeah. <laughs> and then once you get up there, once you hit base camp and you, your body starts to cool down, it, then it starts to get cold. The summit is cold, so bring a sweater. I had brought a sweater and a jacket and I ended up never needing the jacket. I just had the sweater, but hey, I am from Canada, so I guess I'm kind of used to the cold weather. <laughs> this was my first vlog-like style video and I'm so pumped to be sharing it with you and I definitely will be doing a lot more this summer. One thing that I really want to integrate to my channel is doing things with friends. Now that I'm home, I've just been reaching out to people who are kind of like-minded and asking if they want to do stuff and create, just create, you know, like why not? So there will be tons of stuff coming up in the future. There's also a lot of footage to go through from my Bali, Mexico and Guatemala, so that will be coming out as well. So if you like videos like this one, let me know by hitting the like button, I really appreciate it. And stick around by hitting the subscribe button because I'll be making a ton more. Have a good day. So Cam, shout out. Come on. Ah! Woohoo! Mika, Woo! shout out. Woo! M, shout out. Woo! Big boy, shout out.